So, ladies and gentlemen, let me explain to you on how to handle the microscope. So, the first thing, the first safety precaution that you have to do is you have to take your hand and pull it onto the arm, and then the other hand put it on the base so that you will avoid from any accident. And then bring it to the bench, and you can definitely operate your microscope. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. So basically today, we will learn about the principle of microscopy. And today, we are going to use the light microscope. The first thing that you need to have before conducting the principle of microscopy is the microscope and also the adapter. So basically, this is the microscope. So basically, the first thing that you have to do when you are dealing with microscope is you have to first connect the adapter to the spot. And then, this is the rotating body whereby in order for you to use this microscope, you have to rotate the rotating body to the place we are going to see it. So basically, this is what we call as the eyepiece where this eyepiece has function where the object that we are going to view are going to be enlarged. It contains a lens called the ocular lens that further magnifies the specimen by 10 times. Okay. Once you have placed the microscope on the bench, the first step we have to do is you have to connect the power source to the pot. And then you have to switch it on. But before that, you have to basically using the resol resolving noise piece to rotate the lens towards your eye so that you can easily picture the image of the microscope. So ladies and gentlemen, the first part that we are going to describe today is the eyes piece. The lens, the viewers look through to see the specimen. Basically, the eye piece usually contain a 10 times power lens and the lens inside the eye piece is basically considered as or known as the ocular lens. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, the next part of the microscope that we are going to describe today is the objective lens. Basically, this is one of the most important part of a compound microscope as they are the closest to the specimen. A standard microscope has basically four objective lens that range in power from four times until 100 times. When focusing the microscope, be careful that the objective lens don't touch the slide as it could break the slide and destroy the specimen. So basically, the objective lens, the red one, is the 4 times objective lens. And the high power, rather than 4 times, is the 10 times in the yellow color. And the high power objective lens is in blue color, which is the hundred time, uh, the forty times. And ladies and gentlemen, this is the oil immersion. Where in order for you to observe the specimen, you have to first put the oil immersion onto the slide for you to observe a better and a clearer image. Okay, this is the noise piece. Basically, a noise piece is a rotating turret that houses the objective lens. The viewers spin the noise piece to select different objective lens. For instance, if you, hunt, if you want to change the objective lens from 4 time magnification to 10 time magnification, you just have to simply use the turret or the, the noise piece to change the objective lens. As simple as that. Basically, the next important part of a microscope is the stage. A stage is a platform where the slide is placed. Basically, the viewers will definitely place the slide here and then they can adjust whether they want to put the slide a bit into the front or going to the back, to the left or to the right by using the stage control. You can definitely clip your slide by using the stage clips where it is a metal clip that holds the slide in place so that your slide wouldn't accidentally 
fall down from the stage. Ladies and gentlemen, the next part that we are going to discover today is the aperture. Aperture is the hole in the middle of the stage that allow light from the illuminator to reach the specimen so that you can observe the image clearly. So ladies and gentlemen, the next important part in observing or in using the microscope is the coarse adjustment knob and also the fine adjustment knob. Basically, the coarse adjustment knob is to bring the specimen into the general focus. So you will definitely put your specimen here and then you can bring it to the objective lens to see a clearer image. But please ensure that you don't uh, put the objective lens too near to your specimen because your specimen will definitely broke if you put your specimen near to the objective lens and basically this is the fine adjustment where it is a, the fine tunes that focus and increase the details of the specimen so that you will obtain a clearer and a better image here we go to one of the most important part in the microscope this is so called as illuminator whereby this is the light source of a microscope basically without this illuminator you cannot easily observe the image because the illumination will be one of the source of the light that will help you to obtain a better and a clearer image this is basically the condenser where the condenser gather and focuses light from the illuminator onto the specimen to be viewed the general part of a microscope generally consists of a base a base support the microscope and it is where the illuminator is located and ladies and gentlemen we have come to the last part of the microscope that we're going to describe today which is the arm the arm connects the body tube to the base of the microscope and it is a place where we can definitely use to hold the microscope so that we don't accidentally drop the microscope so basically ladies and gentlemen we have already discussed or described about all of the parts of the compound microscope and we all have known the function so basically let us learn on how to use the microscope correctly ladies and gentlemen in order for you to observe the image under the microscope all you need is a glass light and basically in your experiment your lab assistant will prepare you a prepared slide so basically in order for you to use the glass light you have to first wipe it with the lens paper because in order for you to obtain a clear image this action is a must once you have obtained your prepared slide the first thing that you have to do is you have to switch on your microscope once you have switched on your microscope lower down the stage to the lowest position and then place your slide and clip it with the stage clip you can definitely adjust your slide to the center of the illuminator so that you can observe the image clearly by using the stage control so once you have gotten the desired position by using the cost adjustment knob simply put your stage closer to the objective lens for you to see the object to adjust the clarity of the image observed you can definitely use the fine adjustment knob so you can just simply control the fine adjustment knob until the clear image is obtained the principle of using this compound microscope if you have to observe the image under the lowest magnification that are there in the objective lens until the highest magnification so basically in a compound microscope the lowest magnification is four times so you have to basically adjust everything until you got the clear image and if you desire, desire to choose or to change the objective lens you can definitely just change it from four times to ten times and lower it down a little bit of the stage for you to observe under the 40 time 
In order for you to observe the image under the all immersion objective lens, you have to first basically put the all immersion. You have to put at least a drop of the oil immersion onto the specimen and then you can definitely put it onto the stage and observe it under the 100 times magnification. Once you have done observing the image and once you have done using the microscope, there are a few steps that you have to follow in order to store the microscope. The first thing is you have to switch off the microscope and then you have to ensure that you put the stage uh, you have to ensure that you put the stage to the highest position and then the objective lens should be placed at the four time magnification. And last thing is you have to definitely rotate the eyes piece to the very first position that you take the microscope and then switch off the electric charge and pull off the electric supply. So ladies and gentlemen, what you have learned today is literally about the history of the microscopy, the principle and the parts of the microscope and how to basically operate the microscope. Please ensure that you use all the information given in this video in order for you to obtain an accurate image and to avoid any incident. But, ladies and gentlemen, your safety is our priorities. Thank you for watching this video and don't forget to drop the like button. Thank you.